One, two, three. All right, so I'm getting ready to call it a night here. Uh, this is my bucket. Uh, we did all right. Uh, they're still biting actually pretty good. So you can see here at uh, Curry Beach Pier, and uh, <laughs> I'm like one of the last. There's uh, two other guys up here on the end, but um, as you can see, pretty much have it, have it to myself. So I'm gonna get a count here for you because I know a lot of times you guys like to know how many I got. So real quick here, I'm gonna get a count for you. Twenty-seven. So we got twenty-seven all together. All right. So you can see pretty nice, pretty nice catch here. Just decided to come fishing a little bit after work today, and uh, twenty-seven whiting to uh, clean up and potentially share with other folks. One thing about fishing on a pier, sometimes you gotta take that long walk and go get that restroom. So, this is one of those moonlit nights. There's the moon. But now we're making our way back to our station. People are really usually pretty good and courteous about not bothering your things when you leave. So, uh, usually good on that. All right, so here I am on the pier. Like I said, one of the last to leave and uh, what I really want you to notice um, as I'm fishing here I just put a couple of clips in here is that you'll notice that as I'm standing every few seconds or so when I don't get a bite I'm actually winding notice the winding there and what I'm trying to do is get the fish's attention um, actually I can remember when I fished one time in uh, St. actually St. Augustine Florida and there were there was a husband and wife down there fishing and they were fishing for whiting and Virginia mullet as well and they said they like the, the moving, the moving action, the, the trolling, if you will. So you'll notice that I'm winding ever so often. And you'll notice before too long here, we'll get a hook set and I'll get one of these. But um, it's quite chilly. You'll see that I'm bundled up out here. Um, have on all my layers and my coat and my hood and a hat on top of that. So you can see I've actually hooked up and I'm bringing one in. And these are actually nice size fish. Um, you did see those at the beginning of the video um, as I gave you your dessert first. So uh, that's really what you're looking at here. Uh, just a little uh, tip from me to you. If you're out there and the fish aren't being as cooperative as you'd like them to be, a few wines here and there will bring them up. So you can see there's a nice uh, Virginia mullet. little thumbs up there for you for sticking around and watching. So uh, that's really what it's all about. Getting out, having a little fun. And um, this is during the period of time or a few days after if you will, when that uh, extra big moon uh, was was close to us. So uh, I'm out here taking it all in. Um, so 
here's just another little clip same idea again just um, notice the winding there just to get the fish's attention and um, ultimately here as we did the first time we'll get another hook set and um, you saw earlier in the video I did let you know that I'm running actually because the water is very calm even though it's um, high tide the water is very calm so I'm only actually running a an ounce and a half weight um, a double hook drop rig um, with uh, two size four hooks and um, of course you can see I'm fishing with or you may not be able to see fishing with my uh, pin battle 2 3000 and um, also my LL bean rod that I recently picked up purchased and uh, with the extra big eyes so um, that's what we're working with and there's another hook set so I just wanted to let you see that technique and uh, hopefully that'll help you if you're out and about and the fish are being a little less than cooperative maybe a few turns of the of the uh, handle there and dragging that bait on the bottom causing a little commotion might also put some fish in your bucket or your cooler or your whatever you might be putting your fish in that day um, so another nice fish thanks for watching